Hi, I'm Chris Martirano with American Music and Sound and our good friends here at Kraft Music. I'm going to be showing you the Studio Logic Numa Concert, a great instrument. And for great deals, check out the bundles at Kraft Music. They put together all the great accessories so you get the most out of your instrument. The Numa Concert is a great live performance instrument by Studio Logic. It features Fatara's top of the line keyboard action, the TP40W, made of all real wood and this beautiful simulated ivory key top. Feels great under your fingers. There are two zones so you can split or layer, and there's 12 great sounds that are derived from a combination of sampling and physical modeling. Add to that the great effects that they provide and some real-time control and you have a world-class instrument. The Numa Concert features two grand pianos. One they refer to as a concert grand and the other as a stage. Let's listen to them right now. This is the concert grand. Notice the nice, long, natural decay. Also, Studio Logic put a lot of work into the physical modeling aspect of the piano. What did they model? They modeled sympathetic string resonance, which is the ability to hold notes down very quietly, and other notes that you strike that have harmonic relationship will excite harmonic overtones, adding to the realism. Then they also modeled damper resonance, so that when the damper is down and you're playing, it simulates on a real piano where all the dampers would be raised and other strings, even on notes you're not playing, would be ringing. And then they have a soundboard model that they created, giving further richness to the tone. I'm going to play the next piano for you now. This is the stage piano. It has a decidedly different color. There are two electric pianos and then an FM electric piano. So I'm going to start with the first electric piano. We'll call it a Tyne electric piano. And you'll be hearing the phaser effect. Right now the phaser effect is hooked up to the free wheel, they're calling it, which we call a mod wheel on many synthesizers. And that's going to adjust the phaser rate. There's a knob next to the effect section that lets me adjust the depth of the effect. So we'll go ahead and listen to this Tyne electric piano with the phaser on right now. Of course I could have added a chorus effect to that or the other effects include rotary and then there's also a nice tremolo. But right now you heard the phaser. So we'll listen to another electric piano. This one is a reed electric piano and it has a nice tremolo effect on it.
Here's a classic FM piano sound with a chorus effect on it. I'm going to use a little bit of the EQ. There are two bands, bass and treble, and I'm going to boost up a little bit of the high end and cut a little bit of the bottom. We'll get a nice shimmering FM sound. It wouldn't be a great live performance keyboard without a clavinet, and it has a great clavinet sound on it. This has a very slow phaser on it, bringing out some of the high harmonics. Really funky, it's fun to play. Two great pads round out the layering capability, so you can layer your piano or your electric pianos or even your clav if you want to have fun with some of these pads. Both of them are interesting and different. Here's the first pad, very lush and very chorused in effect. So here's the other pad. We'll listen to it by itself. It's kind of bright and buzzy, interesting. You can do a lot of different things with this pad. Here's an organ program based on a kind of generic uh, tone wheel organ program. Very useful for a lot of music. We'll just listen to that. They have a simulated rotary effect controlled by the free wheel.
It's nice that Studio Logic provided a few organ programs. Very useful for the live piano player that's looking for some complimentary sounds to fill in in the set. If you're really looking for a dedicated organ with killer, killer replication, look at the NUMA Organ 2. Great product, also by Studio Logic. The end of the control panel is a button marked for tar touch. This is a great feature. You press the button, it starts blinking, you play for a minute or any time thereof, and then the software creates a custom velocity map that's just your map. You can then store that, in fact you can store many of them. So really, really powerful feature to give you touch that you're going to love. And then also they have a two zone MIDI controller. So on the left side of the display is a button marked on off for MIDI module. I can now transmit on two different channels. My split and layer can affect the external as well. I also can send program changes, bank changes, and also I can send octave transmission and MIDI volume. This is really handy for controlling your external modules or some external MIDI instrument. Let's take a quick tour of the back panel of the instrument. We have audio inputs. I like the fact that they silk screened the back panel uh, jacks also on the top. Makes it very easy in a gig when you set up to know what to plug in and where. So you have audio inputs. You could bring your iPad or your MP3 player or even a small mixer and plug other devices through. They do not go through the effects. They actually pass through unaffected, but it's still nice. You can control the overall volume then right from your your uh, NUMA concert piano. You have audio outputs. These are balanced outs, nice and quiet. Two sets of headphone outputs, which is nice if you're teaching on it, using as a teaching instrument. And then you have your expression pedal for CC pedal, your sustain or hold pedal, three MIDI jacks, and then you have USB, which allows for MIDI over USB and also for transfer for controller information to go in case you're sequencing with the NUMA concert. So that's the NUMA Concert Piano by Studio Logic. If you have any questions, contact a team member at Kraft Music. And don't forget to check out the bundles for a great deal. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Martirano.